new user correct so i'm going to create with the i'm going to log in with the new user friend x76 password is welcome login then system administrator system administrator security user then define then define log in now up to here clear yesterday also i have written so now continuation to the same yesterday class so what you can do once you came this screen f11 you can use which one f11 side you can write f11 means shortcut bring it to query mode query mode you are going to bring to which one query mode because if you want you can create new user but yesterday we already we have created already user instead of creating new user we will query now existing user will assign one more responsibility okay so for that what you can do f11 side you can write f11 means query mode okay now once you came this screen so what you can do f11 okay f11 so you have to make it note each and every thing whatever i am saying because you already said yesterday correct so you, as long as you are listening you will feel it is very easy but if you sit in front of system for practice purpose very difficult to remember all these things okay so f11 then you can type your user front tech 76 front tech 76 then you bring it to query mode that is color also changed it correct front text 76 then you after that you need to use one more command which one control plus f11 execute query execute query control plus f11 these two are shortcuts commands you can use control plus f11 execute query so here once you had written then what you can do control plus f11 control plus f11 now you can see when you say control plus f11 user which you have created yesterday it has been displayed it has been displayed so clear now all of you so how many responsibility was in yesterday two response i want to assign one more responsibility using our user you no need to go another user now because you have which responsibility system administrator is there means you have a entire access into the oracle application you have a entire access into the oracle application so you no need to go to the another user now okay okay once you say control plus f11 your user display you can write come to the direct responsibilities In the notebook, I have to write. Come to direct responsibilities. Tab. Come to direct responsible tab. Come to direct responsible tab. Place cursor on the responsibility field. Place cursor on responsibility field. Then you are going to add new one. Directly, if you place also here, it will add. Or else, what you can do? Say new. Say new in the Word document. New in the uh, PowerPoint presentation, you have new correct slide and all. Say new. Then here you can select which one. Yes, sir. Charam is manager. Yesterday you have seen correct. So uh, once you say new, go to where LOB. So you can write go to LOB. You have to make it note each and every point. Close, save, enter each and everything. Whatever I am saying. Okay. So go to LOB. list of values lob then i am i want to assign which responsibility hr human resource responsibility so you can write us percentage hrms percentage manager percentage so now system will display which is starting with the which name us which contains word which one hrms 
and second word minus n. It will display. You can write US percentage, HRMS percentage, minus percentage. Then you can say find say find say find then how many display five display. select here search term as manager select so using your own user you are assigning responsibility now select here search term as manager select means place cursor on that it will select it select here search term as manager okay okay Yes, HRMS manager. Okay. Then save it. 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 Okay. Save it. Close the screen. Close the screen. Close the screen. Okay. Now, all of you clear now? So, what you learn now? How to log in into the Oracle application, new user creation, log in with the new user only, assigning responsibility. These are not, this is not a subject, this is a general thing, simple thing, general thing. Okay. Now, next, switch responsibility. Switch responsibility. Switch responsibility. Switch responsibility. You are there which responsibility? System administrator. I want to go to the general ledger. I want to go to the HRMS. For that you can use which one? Which feature? This feature. It is used to move one responsibility to another responsibility. You can write this feature is to move from one responsibility to another responsibility. Who came today? Already recorded videos are there. I can share. So you can write today onwards again. This feature to move from one responsibility to another responsibility. Okay. Now. Now. Navigation you can write. Navigation. 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 File. Navigation, navigation, file, toolbar, file, switch responsibility, file, switch responsibility, file, switch responsibility, then how many responsibilities are there, four, three was assigned, but this one will come default. You are there which responsible system administrator. So you want to go to the nowhere? General ledger super user. Select general ledger super user. Select general ledger super user. Select general ledger super user. Okay. 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 Then you are there which responsibility? Again you want to go back there or HRMS. Again where you can go? File. Switch responsibility. Okay. Switch responsibility. Or else you, you can see here one icon is there. Switch responsibility. This is also you can use. You can go to the way you have HRMS. Any responsibility you can move. But I am going to that general ledger super. Next 10 to 12 days will be there which responsibility? General ledger super. First we are going to discuss about which one? General ledger super. Okay. So now we can put it in general ledger. General ledger. So it is a major, it's a general repository. Major controlling features on 
for example india us your company is there india means which currency you need to use inr calendar different calendar because first april um, it will start but yes first january it will start calendar is different currency is different. those things and all very can define general ledger which country which currency you need to use major controlling features and also balance sheet profit and loss account reports and all you are going to take in the way and finally all the data you are bringing in the way general ledger ap to gl payment data will bring to that means it is central repository okay where you can maintain the all the things so you can write It will integrate GL integration. If you look at here, GL, AP. In AP, what you can do? All the payments you can record and transfer tied to the way GL. Here, collection details. FA, fixed reserve ledger. Separately, you can track. Finally, you transfer end of the day to the way GL, like that. Cash management, bank account, purchasing activities, inventory, warehouse and all, maintaining items and all, products and all. We will maintain there, finally we'll transfer to the web, GL. Work in progress, manufacturing, project accounting. So, finally, I have given a few. There are still many applications integrated with the which one? GL. But for us, these are enough, more than enough. Just one idea purpose. So, you can write. Okay, next. Currency. So you can write.
So currency you are going to use to put value for goods and services. Which can they have it? Separate currency. How many types of currencies are there? Monetary, non-monetary. Monetary currency means which you are using. INR, USD, dollar, pounds and all, euro. Daily day business transistor record. Example. Again, monetary currency, how many types are there? Two types. Functional currency. Okay. Function currency, foreign currency. Next. Hello, Fredo. Okay. Functional currency. In India, which one? INR. That is India, country local currency. USD in US, India. Foreign currency means in India other than INR all are called foreign currency. That is. Right? Okay. Non-monetary currency means only one currency is there. Statistical currency. Okay. It's what? Start currency. One currency only is there. 
So where you can use this one? Calculations and all. For example, ratios, feet, percentage, meter, etc. is called which one? Statistical currency. Where, how it will be useful? Later you can understand. There is a one topic, allocation topic, mass allocation. There you can see the what is the use of stat currency. So as of now you can remember, it will be used in the way calculations and all. Define. So, statistic currency we have only one. That is which one? This is only stat currency. That is only. Okay. Okay. Define currency. So normally no need to create any currency because already currencies are created by Oracle. There are around 200 plus countries. Each currency, those currencies are already created in the Oracle. Normally when the requirement will come to create currency, when new country is formed. But formation of new country is not a simple job. Very rare cases it will happen. So that is the reason. In the future it will not come. Very rare cases it will come. But anyway, we will create one dummy currency. Because we want to learn how to create currency. Okay. So navigation, navigation, general ledger, super user, which responsibility are in now? General ledger, super user, navigation, general ledger, super user, then setup, general ledger, super user, setup, setup, setup. General ledger super user setup currencies setup currencies currencies setup currencies define setup currencies define setup currencies define currencies define currencies define but you want to see already all credit all currencies which are created in the application then what you can do is once you came here so you can use which command if you want to query specific currency you can go for f11 and all. all means what you can go no. so you can write once you came this screen you can write window name currencies window name currencies you can write notebook currencies then control plus F11. Control plus F11. Window name you can write currencies. Then control plus F11. So if you look at here, when I say control plus F11, all the currencies are displayed. So you can see now AUD Australian dollar. CAD Canadian dollar many countries are there Euro GBP and our currency is there INR Indian rupee like that it is there but we are going to create one dummy currency correct so what you can do place cursor on the code field place cursor on code field 
place cursor on code field. Then you can say new. You can say new. Place cursor on the code field. Then you can say new. And so I'm going to enter which name? REL. Reliance. So in our batch, whatever I'm going to create, everything will start with the which name? REL. So that easily you can understand it has been created in our, in our batch. You will not be having. So in our batch, what is the name? REL. Batch number is 76. But here I am using name REL. So that easily you can understand it has been created by in our batch. Currency code. Why three digit? Provoke worldwide. Universal. United Nations and all the countries are agree. Currency. When you are going for the worldwide. So how many digits? Three digits. That is the region. USD, INR, GBP, Euro and all. Both. Name. Indian rupee and all like that you can enter. We have to write code, REL, name. Okay. Name means what is that? Indian rupee like that. But I am entering simply which one? REL. Okay. And description also. More meaningful information about which one? Your currency. So you can enter Indian rupee or like something. Okay. So you can enter REL description. I am entering same thing only. Code also same. Name also same. Description also same. Three things are same. Okay. Where you can use this currency? Which location? Which country? So that you can select here. Issuing. You have to write whatever fields I am entering. Code REL. Name REL. Description REL. Issuing territory. Here you enter these three things manually. But this one you should select from drop down list so issuing territory which one india where you can use india india you can use you can use india okay then symbol symbol we have that symbol you can type it that symbol if you want and precision 2 default which one will give 2 you can write precision 2 precision 2 what is this precision precision 2 is there correct 2 means see if I take it One calculation is there. It came like this. Then, how many rupees this one? 67. 67? Okay. Forget about it. These three are there. How many 67? How will you consider? 67? 90 you are saying. 90 paisa. Correct? What you did here? Why you did uh, 90? Why can't 896 Pfizer? Any logic? Why you are... What, what is the rule, uh, re reason for rounding? You can use correct 896 only. Any reason? Sorry? Yeah, under, so normally what happened? In our government and all, everything we have decided. Paisa means up to 99 paisa. 100 paisa means automatically it will come to the this side. It will become a rupee. So that means after decimal point, how many digits you are considering? Two digits. That two digit only you entered here. Not only our currency. Most of the currencies, what is there? Two digits only. So that means after decimal point, many digits are there. You will not call it a 67 rupees 896 paisa. 67 rupees 890. So you can you will make it round because you are going 100 paisa is there automatically. You can move to the this side. That is the reason. So you are going to do. So precision will determine number of digits after decimal point. After decimal point. So you can write note, you can write side, note, precision. Note you can write precision. Note you can write precision. 
Okay. So you can write it will determine it will determine number of digit. It will determine number of digit after decimal point. After decimal point. It will determine number of digits after decimal point. Note means important points you need to remember that. Okay. And next which one is there? Extended precision. Extended precision. So you can write extended precision file. Extended precision. Okay. All of written five. Default will come five. Okay. Next. This also default will come two. But if you want, you can go for three also. Where you can go? For example, COVID dinar is there. Value is much. There maybe probably you can take precision how many digits? Three digits. Three digits you can take it. Okay. So one minute. I'll be back. Okay, so extended precision. Okay, so you are three people are friends together staying in one room. You went to the shopping. There is one offer, thousand rupees. You will get how many? Three t-shirts. Three people are went to the shop. One offer is going thousand rupees. How many t-shirts? Once you came back. And you are going to distribute correct that amount. So each person, how much it will come? By three. How much it will come? Three thirty three point. It will come correct. Now you tell me each person what is that? How much it will come? Is there any ending calculation? Correct. Earlier here, ending is there. You can round. But in this case, is it there any ending? When there is no ending, are you able to make it rounding? You can do. You are saying, my friend is there, so I can adjust. I will pay how much? Everybody 33 paisa like that. One person will take 34 paisa. Correct? One person will take 34 paisa. That is. But why you have taken decision? Manually you are doing rounding. But system you need to tell correct. System, if it is your ending point, application will start rounding somewhere this digit onwards. But here, will the system know when it is ending? Doesn't know. There is no ending also. System doesn't know. From where it will start rounding. Manually you did rounding here. Correct? So that is only extended precision. How many digits you enter? So now here. So 5. You are telling to the system when there is no, when there is unending calculations. Then you should use which one? Extended precision. Then leave it whatever is there after 50 digits. Start rounding from which digit onwards? Fifth digit onwards. Then you will consider how many? After decimal point, two digits. Because you entered here, precision is which one? Two digits. So, rounding will start when there is unending calculations. Rounding will start from which digit onwards? Fifth digit. So, extended precision will determine number of digit after decimal point. From where rounding will start? From where rounding will start? Clear all of you? That is. So if I enter here 8, then rounding will start from here onwards. Here onwards, it will start. Anyway, I am going to enter which one? Because all the countries, everybody should enter which one? We agreed that. That is agreement. Even if you purchase any other currency also, rounding will be 5 days. That is. 
because you are thinking in our personal life those kind of concepts will have a monthly turn correct you will think what is the rounding simple for this this much uh, field is required and all simple question i will ask you you are thinking personal life 10 transaction per month hardly will last how much 1 rupee or 2 rupees but same thing if you go to the reliance prince more supermarket how many transactions per day happen thousands of transactions that means the because of rounding gain or loss will be there in the cross at the end of the month and all end of the day so that is the reason that much important is there for that also one or two transactions there is an effect that is okay but when there is a thousands of lakhs of transactions to take supermarket department store and all per day thousands of transactions will be there so in that case it will that is the reason they put this one okay clear all of you next so again you three friends are there correct you have given your friend to the 10 rupees will you ask you have given you don't have money 10 rupees you have given to him will you ask him to repay 10 rupees ask or not what you are not at all selling means only one guy is saying the money will 10 rupees also will ask yes or no no you will not ask okay if you add one more zero you will think if you add one more zero <laughs> definitely you will ask correct? but today you will not ask if whole note is there correct so that means what you did 10 rupees you will not ask 20 rupees you will not but 50 100 you may ask that means in your mind one deadline is there he is my close friend so if I give 10 rupees, 20 rupees, I will not ask to repay. But if we give 50 rupees or 100 rupees, definitely we will count it. You should. In your mind it will be there, okay, I have paid, you should. If you won't give after something, you will ask. Correct? So that is only, because it is depending on the person. So you are saying, below 100 means you will not ask anything your friend. But 100 or more than that, if you, pay, if you give him, you are, you are asking him to pay back. So, that is only which one? Minimum accountable unit. So, if I enter here 100, in your company, below 100, any transaction is there, you can record it. But it will not affect your accounting balances. It will not affect your accounting balances. 100, more than 100, those only will affect accounting balances. But, I am going to leave it blank. The reason is you can see all are blank. If required, you can use. The reason is sometimes we can enter negative amount also. Which one? Negative amount also. Refund and all will be there. It will come under negative amount. That is the reason it should be planned. But some countries requirement is there. There you can enable this. But in India, for example, you are the functional consultant. You should be aware of as much possible fields. Because Oracle is not designed for one country, one company, one industry. It is generic product. Any country, any industry, any company, they should use, they can use. So that is the reason this many fields are there. In India it is not required, I will not use. But if you go to some other country, it is required. There they are using Oracle, they should use minimum account. Okay, that is. So clear now, I am going to leave it blank. But field is, you got it clear, the idea correct, field. Purpose. So below that 100, whatever amount you are entering here, below that you can enter transaction, you can record. But it is not affect your accounting balances that is okay okay this leave it this three are european union it is required euro currency conversion automatically euro currency conversion automatically so that means this three will be used only european union only type and all factor you entered which one minimum account will those you can leave it then directly come to the way from button from means Okay, so first January I am selecting because our currency born when first January. But most of the currency you cannot see and starting date also. Okay, because most of the currencies are born before ERP developed. Correct? INR means when it came, long time back, correct? Indian rupee. 
that is okay but you can see here one currency is okay now effective date today onwards our currency is up to which date it is valid it is there any you cannot i know when date means it's very difficult correct it never okay so now but you can see one example here afghanistan if you take it afghanistan old currency af a new currency af old currency means in the 2003 war taliban us war happened then they are using af when it is going ended but new currencies af current currencies af afghan earlier afghan old only but now this af some old transactions and all you are entering then it is required this currency okay end date as of now we cannot give it okay now if you drag right side end date you can leave it blank and one more button what is there enable putting tick mark is called enable automatically is enable if i removing tick mark is called disable okay see if i enable then only you can use if i disable it is there in the server but you cannot use it you cannot use it you have to and if automatic is enabled if you don't want you can disable today we want but after some time if you don't want you can disable it okay so normally 200 currencies are there correct 200 plus currencies so we cannot enable all our company is going to have a operation in which country us india uk three currencies only we can enable remaining kind of currencies we don't have a operation well if it is there we can enable that is there so anyway as of now enable button enable because we want to use currency now save it save it transaction complete one record applied save okay so anybody having any queries about this currency this is dummy currency real nothing but inr only you can think like that we are learning how to create currency in the real time nobody will create currency currency will create when when the new country is formed formation of new country is not a simple job it is very difficult nowadays okay okay so all of you clear now anybody having any query close the screen next